Hi. With the holiday season and December here, I thought it'd be appropriate to create some type of a fitting tutorial. So uh, snowman is going to be our theme for the next couple weeks. I'll just walk you through how to create this guy. Uh, it'll probably take about two to three tutorials, so just keep an eye out over the next couple weeks. Uh, here's a picture of our finished image, and let's move on to how to get there. Uh, first thing you do is just start out with a new document, and you're going to create a white circle. First, very first step with the elliptical marquee tool, just fill that with white on, an, on its own layer here. I've already done that and I've already added some layer styles, so let's go through the layer styles. I have an inner shadow, an inner glow, and a bevel and emboss layer style. So I'll show you each of them. The inner shadow, I've changed the color to RGB 196, 204, 236, and you should be able to see my settings here, 75, 1021. Uh, 135 here. Inner glow, uh, that's the default black, or that's an actual change of color there to black. I think black should be the default. And I have 17% opacity, 0, 0, and 34 pixels here. Bevel and emboss, I've got inner bevel, and I pretty much kept the default settings and all the drop downs. Uh, for the depth, I have 191%, size 25 pixels. 124 and 74 is the angle here, and the only trick is, is I changed the color here to RGB 122, 128, 153. Uh, drop that down to about 12% opacity, and move on to texture, and I picked a default texture here, it's called clouds, and all you need to do is just change this to 139% and 34%. And as you can see, if you look at each of them individually again, inner shadow, inner glow, bevel and emboss, we've now got a nice little ice snowball appeal to it. So next thing I'm going to do is press Control command j to duplicate it, then Control command t It's going to bring up the free transform tool, and just type in 75% up here in the options bar, and I'm going to press Enter to confirm it. I'm just going to drag that circle up a bit. I'm going to press Control command j again, Control command t and I'm going to once again, 75%, confirm, and drag that guy up a bit. So now our snowman's pretty much complete. Next thing we can do is create a nice gradient background, and here I've got a light blue RGB 187, 229, 255, and white. I'm going to just select the gradient tool, it's a default linear gradient, and I'm just going to drag that up on a background layer. Now I've got a nice uh, gradient blue background. So that's going to be it for this one. We're running out of time, but if you have any questions, feel free to email me at extremephotoshop at yahoo.com, and we'll see you for the next part. Thanks.